Hi guys, it's Hope. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd film a day in the life video again. It seemed like you guys kind of enjoyed it. I don't know. I know the one day that I filmed it, it was kind of boring. It wasn't that great of a day to film it just because I had classes and then I just had a lot of homework to do so I didn't really do a lot. But as I mentioned in a couple videos ago, I had my car for when we went to Target when I did that Target vlog, which if you haven't watched it, I'll link that down below. I have my car again right now, so I figured this would be a good week to kind of film a day in the life because I, I don't know, I feel like this would be a good day because it's laid back, but I also have like things I could do. It is Tuesday, October. Tuesday. It was Wednesday, October 16th. Thank God it is Wednesday and not Tuesday this week. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I wish the weeks away because I'm like, oh my gosh, I want it to be the weekend because the weekend's when I like actually get out and go do stuff, you know? So I think it's just like I wish the weeks away so when I do that it feels longer than it actually really is because it's Wednesday. But anyway, it's been like not like it hasn't even been that long of a week though because I haven't really done anything. It's just like I want it to be Friday. It's Wednesday, October 16th. It's about 9.38 right now. I had a class this morning at 9. It was supposed to be done at 9.50, but I just had a test. So I figured I slept in a little bit. I just got up. I studied. I went and took the test. I just got back like not even five minutes ago, and I decided I'm going to film a day in the life today. So I clearly didn't even get ready because I was like, I want to get ready and do my makeup, but I kind of just like want to have time to do that, and I don't have any other classes today. Wednesday's the one day that I just have one class in the morning, and then I have the rest of the day, which is free, which it's nice, but then it's also like, what am I going to do the rest of the day? So I figured that I would probably like get ready with you guys, so, like put you back up on my kind of desk area and we could get ready together. Um, I kind of felt like doing maybe like an actual makeup look today, even though I'm in a sweatshirt, which I know I was wearing this sweatshirt <laughs> when I went home and filmed videos, but I swear like I haven't really worn this sweatshirt until like the last two weeks because I actually had it at home and I brought it back here so I don't know I know I'm, it looks like I wear the same things which honestly I do but not as much as it looks like in my videos I just happen to wear them when I film but I am planning to go to Starbucks later today too to do some homework because I have a gift card I literally spent so much money on food because we decided to go to Chick-fil-a last night yeah. <laughs> and I have a meal plan that I should be using but so yeah, so I decided that I'm probably going to go to Starbucks today to do some homework. I don't know if Ashlyn's going to join me. She probably will. I would assume she would want to probably get out of here. I don't know. I don't know how much homework she has. I don't have a lot. I just have some studying to do. I feel like there's more for me to do than there is. My brain can't take this. It's college brain. Uh, long story short, I don't think I have a lot of homework to do. I think it's just more studying because I have two quizzes tomorrow. But I just thought it'd be fun to kind of like take you along with me, especially because I didn't like get up and like fully get ready this morning. So I thought maybe you'd want to get ready with me. I'll kind of do my makeup with some maybe different products. Probably not because I use the same ones all the time. Also, I left my beauty blender. I have my big Real Techniques beauty blender here, but I left my L'Oreal one. I also have a Wet n Wild one at home. When I was filming two weeks ago, I left it at home. And that drives me crazy because I want the sponge. I'm going to go home this weekend, so I'm probably going to film two. I don't know. Probably not as much as I did, but I might film a little bit. I don't think there's anything else. I need to call my grandma because she called me, like, two days ago. And I, I've been so distracted. And then, like, I swear, like, five different people called me yesterday. So I really need to call her back. We're going to do that, and then we'll get to the makeup. We'll see if she even answers. She should. So change of plans. <laughs> well, not really. Just kind of added to the plans. So I called my grandma. It was like the quickest phone call I've ever had with her. So now I'm going to go over there for dinner tonight. Which that sounds heavenly because I do not want to sit in the dining center. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get ready and then I'm going to probably go to Starbucks in a little bit. And then I'm going to go to my grandma's. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit about this video that I posted. Um, I just posted it last night, but... When you're seeing this, it'll be like a little bit from now. And it was a video where I had my dad's fiance guess makeup prices. And I haven't really shared much about like that side of my life. Because it's personal, it's not really, it's about me, but it's not really about me because it's my dad and his relationship, not mine. So like she's been around for like almost three years now. So 
she's not like anything like new obviously she they're engaged so they're not she's not like new i don't want to go like too in depth with everything because it's not necessarily like i need to share this but it's hard for me to just all of a sudden pop up here she was in a video like last year in a vlog and that was it and now i have her pop up again in a specific video i thought that that was kind of interesting and i felt like i needed to share this because I don't want to make it look like everything's been all happy and dandy because it hasn't. It's been very hard for me, for my brother, for my dad, for her, for everyone. If you guys didn't know, my mom passed away from cancer about five years ago. Well, it's been five, it was five years in September. And so, obviously my dad waited a few years and then before jumping into a relationship. And she's been around for a little bit now and was very hard at first and so for her to be in a video now a few years later is honestly kind of most people wouldn't realize this except for like my close friends and family that it's kind of a big deal because it's been hard really hard for me to accept this and it's not like she's a horrible person because she's nice she's she's not a horrible person she's a genuine person she means well and it was very hard to kind of accept that and well everything is still not fine and dandy there's still issues and we still her and I butt heads a lot and it's because we're both kind of strong-headed personalities we'll say what we think I don't say what I think to anybody except for like my family like I'm not one to like push opinions down your throat I am more assertive around my family and she's kind of the same way and it's we're both females and I'm used to being the only female in my house since my mom died and really when my mom died i was in eighth grade i was 13 years old so i definitely was not like like growing up i wasn't really a teenager i was 13 so i was just becoming a teenager just kind of discovering myself and who i was so it was just always like she's just mom you know she's the motherly figure but now that i've kind of grown my own personality it's almost been like i've been that motherly figure in my family more like I've just always been there helping my brother out with things like making meals at home and helping him drive him places. And so I've kind of taken on that role of being more of an adult than when I really was an adult. And so then when she comes in, which she doesn't live with us, but when she comes in like on the weekends and stuff, it had been very hard because she was an adult and she was older than me and she was the female so it was almost like it felt like she was trying to take over when she wasn't necessarily it was just the perception of having all that try and come together and it was really hard and <clears throat> it is still hard and I think part of it that helped is I have moved out you know I'm living in a dorm room at college so it's not like I have to live when they get married I don't have to like live at home with her and them all the time and I'm at that stage you know when you're at that stage you just want to get out of the house I'm at that stage but it has been hard for me because I feel bad for my brother because he has to it's almost easier for me because I don't have to deal with it as much as he does as like the last six months have been a lot easier and I have noticed like when I come home from school and she's there and I talk to her I get along like this video when we filmed we kind of were getting along there we weren't having issues that doesn't mean everything is all dandy and and I just kind of wanted to say that and get that off my heart because I know like posting this people are always gonna think like oh she looks so great for your family and da, 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 da. and yeah she is she's good for my dad and she's good for this situation i just don't want it to come across and be like this is what it's always been because I'm, I'm sure you can assume it's not always been that way but for somebody for people who haven't gone through something like this whether um it be your parents got divorced and they had to remarry or you lost a parent or whatever the situation is you have a single parent that's dating you don't really understand until you have to go through something like that and even so like i have friends whose parent whose parents are divorced i have friends whose parents are together and even so parents who are divorced versus parents who are like my situation where my dad or my mom passed away and my mom and dad were still married they were still together they were still loving each other that was that's so different than parents who got divorced who are remarried so and you never think about that until you're in a situation like this so i just wanted to hop on here and say that i i just felt the need to just kind of bring that up just because i feel like i feel like that's just something that like a lot of people don't understand and i kind of wanted to put it out there because it's not easy it's not easy at all 
and life isn't all kicks and giggles sometimes and the last three years of my life have not all been kicks and the last five years of my life have not the last seven years of my life because my mom had cancer two years before she died the last seven years of my life have been whoo like this and that's crazy to think that it's been seven years that i've been like that um so yeah and i know i haven't really talked about it because personally it's not my relationship and it's not I'm not just going to come on here and rant about crap because there's no point. This is a makeup channel and this is my fun. Like, I do this because it's so fun and I look forward to filming when I go home and just being back in my makeup space. So that was my two cents on that. I just kind of thought I would throw that out there because that was just kind of been on my heart to share. It's just been something that I really, I really have wanted to like kind of put out there because it has been hard. So, but if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. She is pretty comical. I mean, when she thought that $7.50 for a mascara was expensive, I cannot tell you how many friends called me, texted me, Snapchatted me after that video and could not get over that comment. Like, how she was, like, reacting to that. Like, you just have to go watch it. So, one thing I want to mention really quick was I used this um, moisturizer this morning. Paracone H2 Element Energy Hydrating Cloud Cream. Okay, the word cloud cream, this is, like, a moisturizer. That is literally like the perfect word for it because I put it on my skin. I actually put a little too much today and it was just like when you're like like moi like blending it into your skin because it's a moisturizer, it's so light and airy and just like honestly, I was just like what is this? It was crazy. This is the Elf Moisture Lock Primer. Honestly, I haven't used this in a long time. It's been a hot minute and I've been kind of like careful with primers lately because Whenever I use my moisturizer, it's been like pilling. Like if I put a primer on top, it pills. I don't know what the deal is. So I don't know if I'm just like not letting it sink in enough. But that's weird to me because last year, like when I would get ready for high school, I would get up, wash my face, get dressed, and then do my makeup. So it wasn't like I let it sit in much longer then. So then I start to think like, oh, it's like the scar cream that I put around here and like a little bit here. It like pills. Is it doing it right now? <gasps> it's doing it right now. Why is it pilling? No matter what I use, my skin is like pilling. It's like I thought like, oh, I should let it sit. It must just be this scar cream. Maybe I should just be applying this at night. I'm going to take some of my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation, which is too dark for me now because I'm paler than pale. And I have my Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, which is really light in porcelain, which actually that's too light for me. So I'm going to mix the two. I like this Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, but it does not last very long. And then I just have my Real Technique sponge, as I was saying, because I left my other ones at home. Which I like this one, but sometimes I just miss my smaller, more precise ones. So how's life for you guys? I feel like all I talk about is me with school which i mean it kind of makes sense because like my channel is about <laughs> college but i want to know how you guys are doing i feel like this this time of the year is always a transition for everyone for some weird reason i mean it's like if you're in school it's a transition if you have kids it's a transition i mean uh, my dad was saying that too which obviously he has kids so it's kind of a transition but even just like this time of the year it's almost like everything just feels like it's like shifting a little bit i mean now we're like middle of october holy crap how is it already the middle of october this combination though does look really good on your skin fashion should be back from class soon i think it'd be fun to do like a roommate get to know me q a thing so if you guys would like to see that let me know down in the comments i asked ashlyn if she'd want to do that ever and she said she would so since i'm going to be setting my face with powder and all that i don't really want to use this uh, makeup revolution one because that one just looks a little too crepey on my skin and i just draw concealer on my leggings I love life. Oh, I have those Tide stain sticks. I forgot, or like, is that what they're called? I forgot about those. Thank you. 
It's now currently 10.54 and I finished my makeup. I just used a little bit of my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette because I haven't used this in a while. On my eyes anyway. And then just kind of like some of the more neutral crease shades. And then I pulled in my um, Makeup Revolution Hypnotic Palette and I used this shimmer shade right here. And then also a little bit of that one. This more on the outer, this more on the inner. And I kind of just blended it. That's pretty much what you didn't really see. And then I just used my Essence Lash Princess and then a Maybelline Snapscara. I used that as well. So... Now it is about almost 11 o'clock, so I think I am just going to head to go get some food in the dining center, and then from there, I'm going to go to Starbucks. I also used a brow pencil today, which I've been using the last couple days, and I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I all of a sudden back into brow pencils, even though I've been talking about just using powder to fill my brows since, like, June. I've been like so, so set on that and now all of a sudden it's like back to the pencil. So I use my Maybelline Soul Temptation Brow Definer. That's what it is. See I haven't even used it in a while. I couldn't remember. Thought I'd update you and now I've been watching Chrono Minds and I'm gonna go get some food. Just thought I'd give you a little OOTD so it's nothing special. I'm gonna sort of go for a sweatshirt like I said which is a little bit big for me. Leggings which are from Fabletics. I do like their leggings. Um, they're definitely nice quality and they for a good price that two for 24 thing the only thing is that two for 24 deal you have to cancel or they'll start charging you $50 a month and you can like pick like I think it's like 50 bucks a month and you have to pick products it's like a subscription thing but if you ordered them and then you can cancel it then I just have my converse these are like the slip-on ones I do like them but I wear socks with them it doesn't look the greatest but it's rub it rubs on my heel they're actually starting to get like broken in though yeah these are the fit I don't remember exactly what kind these are but they have like the um little mesh back here so you can like stick your phone in when you like work out but for me a lot of times I have to like roll them I also have a brand that's like more insulated so they're a little bit thicker and those are nice for working out but they are super thick so if it's like hot outside you do not want to wear them but if it's like a Minnesota winter they'll be great for that. It's 12.03 so I just went to lunch with Ashlyn and then we were just in the dining center and then I came back and I did some dishes because you watch my pack with me I did bring like little Tupperware containers and some plates and stuff so I have those. I'm going up a hill here because I'm walking to the car. <sighs> I worked on my legs yesterday and holy crap, my legs hurt so bad. Going down the stairs, oh my gosh. I haven't like lifted weights with my legs since like pretty much I moved here because I did it at home. Like I do stuff at home. We have like dumbbells and stuff in my house. So I always worked out at home and then I decided to go to the gym this week. I've been to the gym twice this week. I've been here for like a month and a half, almost two months. And all of a sudden going back to doing stuff with weights is killing me, but I miss it. I'm not a gym girl though. I would just rather work out, work out at home. As I was saying, I'm walking, or now I'm in my car, but I was walking in my car when I was filming. Um, I'm gonna head to Starbucks right now because I have a gift card and I've been kind of craving Starbucks. I don't know why. I just want a good coffee. And somebody was talking about, I was watching a video from somebody I just subscribed to. She does like college videos. Um, and she was talking about a Starbucks drink and it was like, I think it was like my calling. <laughs> It's now currently, hold on, let me just start the car. It's currently 1.51, so it's about 2 o'clock. I was there for almost two hours. So I'm going to head back to my dorm now. I got homework done. I just watched Tati's video about her makeup line that's coming out, which is pretty cool. I'm going to head back. I, uh, oh, I wanted to show you really quickly. I got a um, Grande Ace coffee with one pump of white mocha, one pump of sugar-free vanilla, and then some almond milk. 
Uh, one thing I've noticed when it comes to Starbucks and their coffee, I do not like Starbucks's. Um, I freaking hate this turn signal. I swear I use my left turn signal more than my right. I do not like Starbucks's almond milk and coffee. And I have a hard time with dairy. But honestly, I think I'm just going to have to sacrifice whenever I get coffee because it's always so watered down. There's just something about having like 2% milk in it that's just, just like the thickness of it, you know? If you watched my Starbucks video, which I'll link that down below, I did that video this summer with some people. Like Isaac was in it, my friend Emma, Isaac's sister. And it was the coffee. I got a vanilla iced coffee with almond milk and it was way too sweet and disgusting this one i have a pump of just white mocha sauce because i'm pretty sure like when you get like a vanilla iced coffee it's got to be like four pumps of the syrup so i just got one of sugar-free vanilla and one of the white mocha i think next time i probably just won't get sugar-free vanilla and i'll just get regular vanilla because it, it almost tastes watered down and part of that is their almond milk i think just it just doesn't have that thickness it's like when it's not too sweet but it's not just straight coffee it's just kind of like almost tastes watered down I don't know. So I'm currently heading back to my dorm. I'm gonna make this green light. My dorm is literally not that far away. I'm gonna go back there. I have a couple more things with my notes I want to do, and it's because I have didn't bring my colored like my big. I think they're called they're the big brand pens, like marker pens. I didn't bring those with me. I just have them in my dorm, and half the time I honestly like wish I carried them around with me because a lot of times I want them and I don't bring them because I don't remember to. So I want to get those to write out some more stuff to color code for my notes just so I can remember easier. See? I swear all I do is take left turns. Oh god, that car came out of freaking nowhere. By Papermate. Not Vic. The Papermate this Flare. So These are the medium ones. My mom was a elementary school teacher and I remember her vividly using these when she was like correcting papers, but I really like them for taking notes. So yeah, I just want to share that these are the pens. They're popular, a lot of people use them. I really like them. I need new like black pens though because these ones are not very good at all. These are just kind of like cheap ones. So I need to invest in some nicer pens. Okay, so I just got back. I suppose I could film on my camera. I know I didn't film um, <laughs> much since I left Starbucks. So I left Starbucks, I came back. I was gonna like film and like up to you guys. And then I ended up talking to Isaac for a little bit and then got distracted because I was talking to him for longer than I expected, which is what normally happens. So I was talking to him for like an hour. So I didn't leave until about 3.30 to my grandma, to go to my grandma and grandpa's. And then I just sat and visited and we ate some food. It is now 6.41. It feels like it should be like freaking. 9 30 outside okay maybe not that late but like it's dark like i feel like it should be like eight o'clock so i am just going to probably do some more studying i don't have a whole lot to do the quizzes aren't going to be too complicated but tomorrow's thursday so it's like kind of like my busy day of the week i have three classes but i don't have an event tomorrow night which is nice okay i know i look a little crazy these glasses like don't sit right on my face. So I'm sitting here kind of studying. I got like my note cards out, whoa. And uh, you know, it's not really anything dandy. I'm really tempted to just kind of put it away because it's about 7.15 and I just kind of want to relax and watch some videos and just like shower and just kind of crawl in the bed. But I am going to be a good college student and keep studying. Probably till about 8 o'clock and then I'll kind of wrap things up. But, you know, my quizzes aren't too bad. But one thing I do want to share, like what I'm studying is, so I have, I'm in like a Western culture class. And so we're talking about like history from back like BC to then AD. So I have notes here from lectures. So we have class lectures. Um, so I have notes from my lecture. And then I like to turn it into a timeline because a lot of times on my quiz we have timelines or if, if not, I just need to have like a general date because we will have like tests on this. So what I like to do is I like to take out a piece of paper and we usually have a list of like mastery terms that we need to know, but then we also have like other terms of like, um, not mastery, but you still need to know like kind of like the person and like around the time and place maybe, but not necessarily like the significance of it. So what I like to do then is I like to put my mastery terms in blue and I make note cards. So I make this and then I like to put my who or my who or what 
when wear and significance. And then, so that's how I can study. And then I also have my other terms in pink. So I do it like that. I then put my, mostly the mastery terms, but then if I feel like some other terms are important on a timeline, I add it to a timeline on a sheet. And then I put like the dates and the names, but then I also color coded, right? And then also a lot of times, so like Thomas Aquinas, he is about like Christian scholasticism. So then I kind of like, this time I decided to color code all this so I knew that that was glasses you know I was talking about with my paper mate pens but this is what I do and then like since he has all the laws like the divine law natural law all that stuff I put that there and this is kind of how I've been doing it and I found this is really helpful it's more specific to just this class I don't do this to all my classes but like to almost like go through my notes and like summarize everything and make like the bold list of names that I need to know and then also like add in like a lot of like the extra little notes and everything and I found that this is so helpful so I love this and this is like such a great thing that I've found and honestly I feel like I don't put enough work into school like I feel like I also I'm like setting half the amount that some of my friends are doing at the same time I put I feel like all I do is school and like if I was in high school this would be like a crazy amount for me so I, I my brain can't process anything but these are my blue light glasses by the way that's why I'm wearing them because I was starting to get like a headache the light is just like when you're editing on your computer and you do stuff for your job on and just school on a computer it's like the light in your eyes and I was kind of getting a headache from like gluten because I get headaches from when I eat too much gluten so these blue lights really help and it just kind of like you can just tell like softens the light a little bit and it's easier and it changes up your look because I don't normally wear glasses why is there so much banging going on like what are you guys doing out there okay, so it's eight o'clock now I'm just gonna kind of do my skincare this is the Derma E scar gel I always use this on my chin about two times a day and I'm trying to get rid of all the scarring on my chin because I'm the queen if I have a pimple I'm gonna pop it and my skin scars so badly what I can't get over though is using this eyelash serum that I've been using from babe lash is how dark my eyelashes are like it literally looks like I still have mascara on it's just my natural lashes dark long I just apply the gold one at night, the silver one in the morning. This is the um, water cloud cream that I was talking about. There's so much in here, but I'm going to use this again. This is just kind of what I did this morning, and that's probably going to be plenty for my whole face because it's, it's just such a light and airy, like almost like whipped feeling. It's just crazy. I can't get over it. It's just so crazy. It's so good. It just makes me want to keep piling it on, especially because it's like nighttime. I just like want to put on a thick layer. Honestly, I'm going to. I'm just going to use the rest of it because I don't think it needs to really sit open anymore. But I should look up and see how much this stuff is because I like this. It just feels like so, it like blends in your skin so easy. I really like my Origin stuff that I use. It's like kind of similar, but like this stuff feels even more like, like just like I'm gonna guess this is expensive. Yeah, $59. $59, holy crap, that's expensive. But this stuff is so good. I kind of want to end this video because I have nothing else that it's going on really to like keep filming. I'm just ready to just chill out. Today has kind of just been a go, go, go. Not like it's been like crazy busy, but I just have kind of done like one thing after the other. So it's just like now I feel like usually I'm just used to just sitting in here and like working on homework and doing nothing and now I'm just like whoo if you enjoy day in the life videos definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new if you just were kind of looking searching up day in the life videos of college students and you happen to find my channel and you aren't subscribed I hope you'll subscribe and stick around I'm so grateful that you checked out my video on my channel and you even say to the end if you're hearing this I really am so grateful for you guys and this is just such a fun little hobby to kind of like keep my mind off thing and kind of like one normalcy in my life that I've had for a while that I just really enjoy doing so I really do appreciate you guys and I just want to thank you so much for always supporting me and watching my videos I Love you guys, as you can tell. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.